Koi koi ka kina. Mad is a wag. Anishnabeg. Anishnabeg koi wag. A yabid no ji shag. A ka kina go jaw yag. Be mad is a wag. O sunji maaki. Chigjami go a chigjamani do. O jay gizas. It be gizas. A ka yani go shag. A bishag. Now God egg. A kayaka kina gooch. Kigiaton. Nibi, no den. A gigon zag. Ainsi suck. Much kiki win or abijitomen. Jigjami gwa chigjamani do. O ye ye. Bitch Gerwich Kakinagwich Kigishton on Jenny knew it. The Gwedgeman, the Germanido, the Ugiwa Mark Kina, we are Ginago. Me there were the Mega Chigja Akus win Chigja Akus win, Ajay Mena watch. Ma neg ni boag mega, ma neg akusak. Ni gwejman dash to widow ka ka kina hau yag. Ve ma de shuwin. Chik jami gwe chonje wab gunag. Eka ye ka kina te wegan. Eka ka nai go chki gya to ono jeni niwe. Chik jami gwe ch. Onje ka kina hau yag. Wam, wam dango sunche. I thank the Creator for this beautiful day as the sun rises each day. I thank the Creator for the sun to remind that the, today is a new day, a new beginning. As the earth cleanses, as the cleaning of the earth, I thank the Creator for the cleansing. For a moment of time, everything stopped. For a moment of time, there was no pollution. I thank the Creator for the air, the winds, the four winds. I thank the Creator for the moon and the stars and for the bird life and the four legates. Also for the fish from the soft rivers, to the rivers, to the big rivers, to the oceans. I thank the Creator for all the mammals from beneath the oceans, the life under the waters, and the life above the water. Thank the Creator for the, the foods and the medicines we eat, and the flowers that we change the season. We're going into a new season. We're going into to a summer season. I thank the Creator for the four directions. As we start from the east and we move on to the south. I pray for the people of the south my sisters, my brothers of the South, who are suffering, and the, my sisters and brothers of the East who are suffering from this great illness. I pray for the ones from the West who are suffering from this great illness, for the mourning and the grief has started among us, and, the and private were deprived from foods and everything. And then we go up the north, and I pray for the people of the north. During this time, the change of season, it is a new way. And I thank the Creator for everything He's given us. However, during this time of reflection, this time of this great illness, we must start to think of others. 
and I thank the Creator for the for everything He's provided us. And I pray for those who are mourning and those who are sick and affected through this. Miigwech, Jujo Manido. Miigwech. For everything you've given. My name is Annie Smith St. George, Kishkwanakot, born and raised in Kitagan ZB. I'm from the Bear Clan. I'm here to greet you on the Algonquin Territory, the unceded Algonquin Territory, where my great grandmothers lived, the Kishkwanakots, as they walked this land. So greetings to all of you out in different directions. These times is a different time where the celebrations and the gatherings and the feasts usually happens in this area, in the, in the Algonquin territory, usually happens. And now it's gonna be in every direction that we will have to do our drumming, our dances, our performance in a different way. It's a new way that we have to look at at a period of time. As I wore my mask, as they told us to wear our mask to protect us and that we remain with distance that we must respect those, these, these indications because the lives of people are at risk. Humankind is at risk. Many times I talked about humankind being at risk and we are there with this great illness that has fallen upon us, the darkness. The darkness that fell upon us in a sudden without expecting it. And many of our people are going. Our knowledgeable people, the elderly and the young, are very be, going to be affected. Within this time period, I was asked to give a moment of reflection 
and a teaching that I was taught. It is time to reflect. It is time to go back and to, to, and to listen to the stories and the, that the elders will teach you. The traditional way of life and to be able to, to move forward with great respect. Yesterday I was saddened as I look at the TV. Yes, I believe in what they're doing, the people, why they were walking. But they were so deprived for four months in the house that they forgot the moment of silence and reflection. And the need was lacking. And I saw the sadness of it hurt me to see equally of how people could react in these moments. I remind, this is a reminding and a teaching to our young people that it is a moment that we must go to your elders and start to understand your teachings. It is the time where a period of time we have to come together and help one another as our traditions and our ways do. As I, my great-great-grandmother and my great-great-grand-grandmothers -grand must have lived this, a time of the Spanish flu, which is similar to this. And these times, they had to stay and they had to listen. They had to listen to the elders. They had to listen to the people. We had to relearn our teachings. We had to relearn respect for others. Le respect est très important. Et aussi, de écouter, besoin d'âme. Écouter, listen, listen to what the other dips they are saying, so that we won't get sick. And so, if there's been a call, till there they find one medicine for this. We will have to remain this way for one year, or maybe more, maybe two years, three years. But we must be patient. And patience is something we learned, we know. Because when you go down the river with a canoe, and you're paddling, and there's a whole family in that canoe, and if we start to not, we're not disciplined in that canoe, we could, it could be very dangerous, it's life and death. We could tip over and lose everything and lose all our goods. And not only that, we could lose the lives of others. Similar situation today, we must take care of each other and we must be obedient and we must have patience. Patience is a hard teaching to learn to be patient. It's hard to, to be confined. It's not easy, but it's reflection time. It's time to help one another. It's also time to reflect of what we have and that's good for us. And it is a moment that we're now going to have to celebrate in our different directions of maintaining that isolation so that the elders will continue to teach and to share. Today, it reminds us how far we went away from nature, away from the beauty, that we don't stop and look and, and send, see the smell the flowers and see the trees. It is, we, we, we get on our car and we go to a store when I was growing up, I, would, didn't, I had to go trapping to eat with my dad. And I had to learn how to be silent. I had to learn how to, to, be, to be disciplined. I had to learn what I had to do because it would put us in danger. And so these times, I, I find it very sad that people as if they were caught four or five years in the house. 
And I find that sad. Now everybody is unmasking as if nothing happened. And no, that's, that is disrespectful. So we got to come back to our teachings. We got to come back to, to, uh, to care for one another, to love one another, to, to be able to, to, sh to share, to give, and to be able to respect one another. We also got to be humble during these times. Humbleness is very hard. And we got to continue these good teachings. We also got to be courageous. And you have to be courageous to be able to follow directions. Because sometimes it's very hard. And courage brings patience. And patience brings nothing is easy. And so we got to relive and we got to start to, to go back to our old ways, the old traditional ways. Now we can't go back a hundred years and live in, in the way our ancestors did, but we could use their teachings and to continue to move forward, especially with these hard times of the epidemics, that big sickness that's going on. And that in order for us, we got to maintain that distance because if we don't listen, we will put everybody, everybody in danger. And so our elders are most vulnerable to get this. And we got to protect them because they are our teachers. They're the ones that are going to teach you what to do. They're the ones who lived, maybe who knows the stories about these, these, these illnesses. And I've lived the Spanish flu that wiped out probably half of the world. In a moment of this cleansing, this is what the elders were saying. There will be a period in time where the earth will re 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 recleanse itself, and we're there now. On est là. On est présentement dans un processus de, de nettoyage de la terre. La terre se nettoie. L'air est plus pur. Because they had no cars, they had no cars, no planes, and even the, even the manufacturers were closed. And so these, the, air, the air and Mother Earth recuperates very fast. So with this moment, the short moment of a couple of months, the Earth, Mother Earth, where we feed from, we eat from, we get our medicines from, we drink from, all our foods, that's one we have to care for. And when you do your dances, your dances, the jingle dance, the grass dance, the dances, is that we are touching Mother Earth and we are dancing. When we use our sweat lodges, you go into the Mother Earth, you go into the womb of the Earth and we heal. And we become humble. I, uh, and and these, these are teachings that I was asked to teach a bit, is that these times is that you will be able to enjoy to, to streamline to, to another way, a new way of sharing. For a moment, it won't be for long, but for a moment, and we have to have this patience with the, all these teachings that we have, the seven teachings, is to honor one another, to respect one another, and to help and to love and to care for one another. And these are t some of the teachings that I, I am sharing with the people today, is do not forget. And if the elderly need care, it's our tradition to help other, the elderly first. And the most vulnerable, the ones that are needed, young mothers, Young mothers who have children, you feed them, you help them during this period of time so that they won't go and, and we need to continue because they need help and everybody needs help. And I thank the Creator for everything, even though we're going through this hard suffering, 
even though we're going through this hard suffering and a lot of people are mourning and grief, deep grief, deep sadness, deep sorrow and pain. We have to help the people who are mourning as well and think about them with due respect. Today is a day for me. It's a day of reflection of my son. It's thinking back in a memory. My son would have been 47 years old today, June 1st. I know what's grief, a losing of a child, of a son, and uh, to a most horrible way. We know what it is, the darkness. The darkness when somebody loses a loved one and what kind of darkness they fall into for a period of time. Because time does not exist when you're grieving. There's a stop time. Time, everything is, is stopped. It's only mankind made time. Time does not exist. And so when we go in our healing shell again, we have to take that time to heal and to reflect and to help and to continue walking with strength. So I ask the Creator to help you to continue to be obedient and to follow directions so that we can be able to gather again maybe next year and so that we can rejoice and to be able to share and, and to be able to, to feast and to be able to be together again. I thank the, I ask the Creator to help you, all of you, so and keep you physically strong in all the directions. I je demande le Créateur d'être avec vous autres et de garder votre la force physique and to keep us all healthy and to be able to, so that we can gather again and we can meet and rejoice and we will be able to hug again one another because humans do need that physical contact. We are human. And so I wish you a great time on this, they call it solstice. I call it a new season. It's a new season that's coming in. The summer season's coming in, where now the strawberries are going to be coming out. And all the fruits, the, the nice little fruits that we're going to be able to eat good for our health. And Chigujem Miigwech for giving me this opportunity to share with you just a moment of my small teachings of a reflection of today. Miigwech. Uh, do enjoy, even though it's their different way of doing it, it's okay. As long as we respect one another, that is very important. Miigwech and have a great time. Uh-huh.